Hey yo, good morning YouTube. Welcome back to another video. And we are officially 10 weeks out, motherfucker, from 2022 fucking nationals. I'm so hyped up. I've actually been killing this prep and I've been doing an amazing job balancing, like going out with friends, training, cardio, and I just think that everything has been on fucking point. So last week we were 228 pounds. We were about to step on the scale this morning and pray to God that we are at least closer to 220 because we still have to make 197 to make that light heavyweight category. So let's check it out. Two hundred and twenty two motherfucking pounds. Let's go guys. That is a six pound loss this week with going to beach club last weekend and I went out last night with some friends. Obviously I didn't drink. I stuck to my diet but I was out until like two in the morning at the casino and you should have saw this fucking casino story. We lost a thousand $20 on blackjack and it was just like a loss after a loss after a loss after a loss and I was like you know what there's no such thing as losers in gambling there's only quitters and winners so I went to the ATM I took out 500 I went to the roulette table I put 500 all in I won then I put 500 all in again on red and won then I just fucked around on some numbers and won I ended up leaving the casino with $1,800 so we lost a thousand and I left $200 up from what my initial fucking investment was or 300 either way it was absolutely fucking insane you should have been there so we are about to head upstairs to take my progress pictures to send off to the coach we are still actually eating a ton of food and today is a full day of eating at 10 weeks out last prep you guys know I looked about this at 10 weeks out and I feel like I'm way farther than that now and two I think I'm eating 700 more calories a day right now than I was last prep so you can say I'm doing something fucking right and I can't wait to show you guys the final product in 10 weeks so hit that like button hit that subscribe button follow along in this journey because we got some banger clips and let's go pose <laughs> second time that I'm filming the next six clips because my stupid mic unfortunately broke and because I don't have like the Sony a7s that has a flip out screen I saw that there was literally zero mic inputs that were like coming in and out so I'm just gonna give you the fastest recap I possibly can we came right downstairs we took some finasteride which you can find on noblesups.com we took some helios which you can also find on noblesups.com we took one pill of helios 1.2 milligrams of finasteride we took 25 micrograms of of T3, we took 40 micrograms of Clen, and we chugged some water, and then we took two IUs of growth hormone. I signed up to Good Life so I could stop doing cardio on this damn fucking spin bike. My ass just couldn't take it anymore, and it is worth the $35 every two weeks to go sign up to a commercial gym just so I can do cardio. I love in the recumbent bike right now. It gets a nasty pump on the legs, and it is bringing my glutes in, and it's pretty good on my back. So I try to do 45 minutes of cardio in the morning right now, 30 minutes of cardio we are doing post-workout. And I've been setting cardio goals, even though the calories on those machines are not that freaking accurate. I still try to burn at least 400 calories in my 45 session, just so I have some type of baseline on how hard I'm going. We got our ass home and for breakfast, we had 300 grams of egg whites, 60 grams of oats, 
100 grams of blueberries, and I put those little magic mushrooms. I do 0.5 grams of magic mushrooms in that shit, and honestly, it has changed my freaking life. It has enhanced my mood, it has enhanced my personality, it's actually helped with recovery because I think less about my herniated discs and more about like the creative tasks I have at hand, and I honestly just have nothing negative to say about this, unless you take a little bit too much, and then you're really not productive for the whole day because you just want to lay in bed and like cuddle your favorite stuffed animal. But with that said, our food is cooking up right now. I'm about to set the camera up and we're going to go over all the supplements that I take currently. A lot of the shit that I have is actually on the way from Gorilla Mind and from Amazon, but I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I'm taking today and a little brief on why I'm taking it. So I'm going to set this up and I'll see you soon. Breakfast is served, obviously. This is probably one of my favorite meals of the day, and I have committed myself to drinking 1.5 liters of water before anything. Before I have my white monster of the day, before I eat, before I do anything, I think drinking a liter of water is probably one of the most important things you can do for overall health, hydration from a full night of sleep, helping your metabolism, and I just think is super beneficial. Now, I did forget pre-cardio. I also take 10 milligrams of GW. That's also found on noblesups.com. The same GW I've been using for all my preps and everything that I sell on Noble Sups is the exact same products that I am taking or I have taken in the past. A lot of you guys ask, oh, can you put this on? Can you put this on? I, I have not taken it. I will not put it on the website because I cannot vouch for it. Even though it is third party tested and purity should not be a problem. If I have not directly seen the results from a product, I just can't put my name behind it because as you guys know, we have run zero ads and we have scaled this company to over $500,000 in sales per year. With my skincare line, acnetaxskincare.com, we have scaled that to over $200,000 in sales in eight fucking months and I have not run one ad. So my name and reputation is everything for these websites. It is not just a marketing gimmick that a lot of these people do. They drop $50,000 in ads, make $600,000, and then you never hear of the company again. I'm trying to build a fucking empire here, and so far, it's fucking working. So, I have been taking this K-Boost Kratom for my back pain. This honestly is highly addictive. I only take this about four times a week. I take three grams of fish oils, and obviously when you take fish oils, you always wanna look for small water fish. Sardine, pickerel, you wanna stay away from like Costco brands. Panthetic acid, I take one gram three times a day. I always bring up to you guys the Acne Tech Skincare, the soap, the soap we formulated for a year. We literally got the soap, tested it out, didn't really like the ingredient list, asked them if they could remove lemon extract. They remove lemon extract, send it back to us, it was honestly a lot better, but it didn't leave your skin like feeling like nourished and soft. So we sent it back. We asked if they could add tea tree oil. So they added tea tree oil. Then we tried it again. Pretty sure it was on point. We had them send one more sample and that was the, gonna be the final product. Ended up being the final product. Now we have like 700 positive reviews and the website is just exploding. But the soap is not the only thing that is going to stop your fucking acne. I get some people messaging me and say, hey, I tried your soap and it didn't work. And I'm like, oh, okay, and they're like, yeah, I take uh, 500 milligrams of test nth and I, I inject once a week. I'm like, you fucking what? Guys, if your hormones are that fucked, no soap is gonna help you. No fucking supplement's gonna help you. You have to get your hormones in check first. Personally, I inject every other day. That keeps my hormones completely stabilized. And as you can see, I do not really fucking break out anymore. When I was starting on steroids, injecting twice a week, I have broke out all the time. But again, the stable hormone levels clearly help. One milligram of panthetic acid three times a day, it reduces the oil buildup in pores. So you stop getting all those like little whiteheads that you always see. And then obviously 10,000 micrograms of biotin. Biotin is just scare him. <clears throat> Skin, hair, nails is one of the best supplements for just general appearance health. And then the Acne Attack Skin Care Soap. That prevents future breakouts, nourishes and hydrates your skin. It also reduces the redness in current acne and acne scars. And when you mix all of that together, then you're on point. 
So don't think that just acne attack skincare is going to fucking solve all your problems because it's fucking not. And anyone that's trying to sell you a bar of soap and say that, well, yeah, exactly. I have been back on my Lyrica, which is also a nerve blocking pain. My wrists are pretty much back to normal. It was a, <clears throat> it was a pinched nerve in my back. I take some vitamin C chewables because they taste like fucking amazing and vitamin C is just vitamin C. Echinacea, because as you guys know, when I started that last steroid cycle, I kind of got a little bit of a sickness. This is amazing for fighting off sickness and not getting sick. Obviously, vitamin D3 isn't that useful without D3 and K2, because K2 helps the D3 absorb, but they didn't have any of the other ones, and I'd still rather get my 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3. We take Gorilla Shroom, obviously, because this helps cognitive function. My memory gets super fucked on prep, really, all the time. I just can't really remember that stuff. I have so much going on in my head, so many emails that I have to answer, so many clients always texting me. Now my own prep, plus starting new businesses, this is just a lifesaver. And mixing that with the microdose shrooms is like, Amazing. And then the last product we have is the cortisol blocker from Gorilla Mind. Um, again, stress is the number one killer for losing weight, gaining muscle. Really, anything you want to do, stress is going to fuck you over. So, if you can only afford one product, I'd honestly say the cortisol blocker is probably the most important. But I'm just giving you the rundown on everything. And unfortunately, I am out of Gorilla Mind AR. That's probably my second favorite supplement from Gorilla Mind. And if you guys ever buy shit from Gorilla Mind, obviously make sure to use my code Mark at checkout. It'll always save you 10%. And I always post on like the little notes thing in YouTube and on my Instagram of the current sales that are happening. Because chances are, if you want something from Gorilla Mind, it's probably going to go on sale at least like once a month. Once once every other month so if you're like really close to something like kind of hold out and wait for that sale because they do give ridiculous sales with our discount code up to like 20 30 dollars off on some stuff so the macros to meal one are right here thank you for tuning into this full day of eating it's gonna be a super eventful day make sure you hit that like button hit that subscribe button I really want to close in on 80,000 subscribers hopefully by the end of August and I know that we can do that so thank you guys so much, and I'll see you guys for meal number two, which is going to be our pre-workout for the day. But today, motherfucker, is test probe and test nth day. Um, if you guys are from Canada, I'm using the Sin brand, Sin Pharma. Um, I'm also, never mind, not affiliated with them in any type of way. way I've been doing my injections right now is I've been doing shoulder, shoulder, glute, glute, quad, quad. Um, sometimes I skip the quads because they hurt and then sometimes I'll do my bicep to try to get a little higher of a peak and then I'm actually going to hop in the shower right after and I just wanted to show you guys the actual bar of soap out of the package. So this is what it looks like. It is completely smooth. There's like no exfoliator in here whatsoever. If you want an exfoliator, what I would do is buy like one of these sponges or one of these brushes and exfoliate. But the way that I basically do this right now is I take the bar of soap, I scrub it on this loofah, and this loofah has like one with the sticks so you can get your back. And I just scrub it all over and then I wipe my whole body with it. Then I rinse the bar of soap and then I wash my face with it. So we have tons in stock right now. Literally, this shit has sold out twice. Like the first order we did was 500 bars. It sold out in one month. I was like, holy fuck. I never thought that would happen. Then we had a 38% return customer rate, which was fucking insane. So we did a second launch of 2000 bars that sold out in three months. And then we did a third order of 4,000 bars, which is here. We're already half sold out and our comeback customer rate right now is 77%. So I'm going to shower up, do some client check-ins, write my fucking calendar board because I've really been trying to be like more diligent because I've been so forgetful of like just writing shit down. Like it's really not hard. Like I'm sorry, but people that complain that I'm ADHD, like no. Shut the fuck up, man. Literally, wear a bunk-ass shirt with a fucking pocketbook right here, and anything you do, fucking take it out and write it down. Like, there is ways to rewire your brain for anything. If you're depressed, 
you can get out of it. If you have ADHD, you can find ways to focus. Stop playing a fucking victim mentality and work on your fucking shit. Got home, it's like 2.15 and we are so fucking late. Basically, I went to my dad's because I had to buy him an electric scooter. My parents have done so much for me and now that I'm in a position where I can like give back to them and they don't have to really worry about finances. I'm not rich by any means. I do okay to live comfortably. He had two strokes. Unfortunately, he did not recover as well as we thought. So I don't think he'll be ever be able to drive ever again, unfortunately. So I'm uh, hopefully gonna work really hard and be able to hire him like a chauffeur. Um, I just, I'm not in that financial position right now. So I'm just doing what I can. But we got two scoops of Isoflex which is right up here, the highest percentage protein on the market for price in my personal opinion. And then we got two scoops of Orange Crush Gorilla Mode, which is going in the shaker cup. And then we get seven white cheddar rice cakes. We're training legs today. Honestly, not filming the leg workout. You can only film so many fucking workouts on this channel and I'm just gonna stick to a full day of eating only and things that enter my body. So gonna plow this down probably on the car ride there just because it's been such a hectic day. And then I'll see you guys for my post-workout meal. All right guys, we got home from the gym. I'm literally drenched in sweat. I'm I'm literally drenched in sweat because this was an absolute killer leg day. I kind of tweaked my back picking up my gym bag so I couldn't squat. So I did just a fuck ton of accessories and I had the nastiest fucking leg pump. And so post-workout meal is we have 180 grams of white rice. We have 170 grams of chicken. And then I put this no calorie butter spray on it. Obviously there's fucking calories on this, but like there's several ways you can do it. One, the nutrition says zero calories. So technically, boom, is zero calories. But if you close your eyes too and just keep spraying it, it's also zero calories because you actually never saw it go on the food. You can use that trick with salsa, sauces, and sometimes ketchup if you're far enough out from the show. And if you never actually saw it go on the food, then I guess it just wasn't fucking there. We have another two IUs of growth hormone. We're doing two IUs in the morning, two IUs post-workout, two IUs right before bed. That is when your blood sugar is the absolute lowest. And uh, that is, well, from science's standpoint, the most beneficial times to take growth hormone. So I'm gonna plow this meal down, get some work. I may be playing basketball tonight. And if I am, I'm gonna bring the camera, show you guys some moves that I fucking got, but I'll, that's not really confirmed. And if it doesn't end up happening, then I'm just probably gonna work and edit these videos because we did take a two week break from YouTube. So like I said, guys, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It's literally right there, it's red and it's free. Click that so we can get to 100,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys for meal number four of the day. So your boy is going to fucking ball up. So I'm gonna try to bring the camera. Maybe I'm just gonna set it up. I hope we can get like a four on four game going. And like I'll just maybe like score a point for the for the two. And if I score a point or I get a three pointer, you gotta hit that subscribe button. But before we leave, gotta get meal number four in. And guys, like I said, when I prep, I pick one thing that I do every single day until about four or three weeks out just to like keep my sanity. One prep, it was two Oreos. I would have two Oreos every single day until three weeks out. One time it was like a cookie of some sort. This time is chip -its. These things are my fucking life right now. So one time during the day, at any time that I want, I open this. Mm. It's something I look forward to every single day. It keeps me sane, it kicks that like sweet tooth, and your coach makes changes off of what he thinks the base calories are. So if you do something every single day, the exact same every single day, then your overall progress is still gonna be the exact same. But if you start having days with this, then not having days, and then adding more because you missed a day, that's where you're gonna fuck up. So our actual meal is 230 grams of white fish, with 180 grams of white rice. And that's meal number four. Sometimes I have five meals of the day if I end up going out and eating at a restaurant. Some days I have six if I just eat them all here. But when you go to a restaurant, if we do end up going out tonight, like you can get like steak without butter and potatoes. And that's technically meal number five. So I mean, that's what I mean of like I'm making things work this prep. 
and saying yes to everything. So I'm gonna plow this down, grab my water, and I guess I'll see you guys on the court. Oh, we just got home from ball. I didn't really like have someone to film that, so I hope I got enough like cool shots there. I think I airballed once and missed a layup, but I think I scored there too. So give your boy some credit and hit that subscribe button. So basically after basketball, we ended up going out with some friends and I had a chicken Caesar salad. So I obviously have a no carb meal in the day. Um, I was actually supposed to have carbs with that, but because I'm going to beach club tomorrow, I decided that I didn't want to have carbs because I didn't want to be like super bloated. Um, yeah, I mean, not ideal on prep to like eat less than you're supposed to, but at the same time, I'm just trying to get lean up and just have a good rest of my summer. So the last meal of the day is right here. We have 300 grams of egg whites, one whole egg, four pieces of chicken bacon, and I'm probably gonna give half of those pieces to Lily! To this little girl. Here you go. Lily, sit. Good girl. She loves chicken bacon and steak and eggs. She'll eat like the typical Ronnie Coleman bodybuilder diet. So I'm gonna plow this down. Here are the ending macros for the day. Obviously, I can eat a little bit more food than that. But at the same time, I did have those chippets. And something that I don't really mention is blueberries are super low in calories. And I always have a carton of blueberries in the fridge. Occasionally, I grab a handful of blueberries from time to time. So all in all, it's not too bad of a diet right now. Still 10 weeks out, still looking really good. I'm super happy how everything is progressing. <clears throat> and I'm super glad that we're back on this crop. <clears throat> I'm super glad that we're back on this content grind. So right before bed, I'm gonna finish the day off with two I use a growth hormone, and then I'm gonna take all the supplements that I took this morning, except the nootropic and the stimulant ones. So with that said, I'm signing off and I will see you guys in the next video.